I see that the meeting. I see that it's being streamed live, but I don't see where it's like connected on Facebook. Um, let's see if we ever Facebook. Tell us if we in this thing. Tell us if y'all see us. We should be here. We should. Yeah, we here. I see us. Okay, now I see us. <laughs> we is back in this thing. What's up, y'all? What's up, everybody? Hi, Jasmine. <laughs> That's so cool. Okay, y'all. Hey, Rhonda. Yes, baby. We back. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, y'all. How y'all doing tonight? I've been chilling today, just so y'all know. I've been chilling. Okay? Chilling. You look cute. Um, well, how you doing, Patrice? I am good. You look, you look really cute. You girl, I had some stuff. <laughs> I had to get myself together, but outside of that, I ain't been doing too much. Um, or nothing. So tonight we are talking about almost doesn't count. <laughs> you know um, what? I, I, where did that name for this book come from? Because when I'm reading, I was it, waiting on it. The whole I, time. I, I'm still waiting on it. Like I, you know, I'll break a book down, and I'm like, like when we read that book, what was it that when I knew that you lose me too? I'm like, I remember the moment that I got like that's why it's called that. I have right. no clue why this is almost doesn't count, or I don't. I have no clue. But there's several different. I feel like it's it's several different storylines. It's good though. It's good. Mm -hmm. So who didn't read it? What y'all think about it? Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat, which I thought about almost doesn't count. How did I learn about this book? Did I tell you about this, Patrice? You know what? You I me? think that I saw it in uh, a newsletter on Bourbon Street, I think. Mm -hmm. And then a couple of didn't start popping up around in different groups that people was reading mm -hmm, it. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, I'm a cover whore. Covers get me. This cover uh -huh. was not given for me. I was like. It was given serial killer. I was just like, I don't know what I'm seeing with this cover. So, but I, but I saw some people, some heavy hitters like vouch for us. So I'm like, okay, I don't have nothing else to read. And I've been on a binge. So I was like, let me, um, let me get this one a try. And All right. yeah. Okay. Somebody <laughs> said it was used once in the story. Okay. Hey, Glenda girl. Okay. Y'all. So I'm Shaquana. And I am Patrice. And we are your host of the Black Girl Book Club Podcast. The Black Girl Book Club Podcast. The Black Girl Book Club Podcast. Hey. <laughs> and tonight we are talking about Almost Doesn't Count by Nikki Michelle. I like that name. She's been in our group too. I don't know if she's on tonight, but she's been commenting. Um, like I made a post about this book. And she's been commenting and um, conversating with different people and stuff. So she's been, she's in the group. Okay. 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 So the book starts off like she came, she came in hot. She came in hot with the brothers going to rescue the woman from the abusive relationship. It was, that was, that was a lot. It had me intrigued. And so I didn't know, I'm like, what is happening? Like, what is going on right now? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. You ain't know what's going on. No. I, I didn't I didn't understand, but of course that now this this one this this author is good because she looped everything in. Mm -hmm. She made it all make sense. Mm -hmm. I just didn't understand from the beginning. And so this was right. one of the books that was you know how you watch TV and you could watch something, you could doze off and wake back up and know where you at. But then some of those movies you watch, you're like, okay, I got to rewind it because I got to know what happened. It's like, I okay, I need, I need to pay attention to what I'm reading. Right. I need all of the context. So here. in the beginning of the book, um, there's a woman who is being battered or who looks battered. And she is trying to get away from her abusive spouse. And there are some men there helping her to get away. So they're like, I, it was given Underground Railroad, but in today's time. I kind of want to get out the car real quick, but I, I'm not. Okay, I get you though. I, I get where you're coming from. <laughs> I'm not. It's like Sir, Sojourner Truth came in the middle of the night. It was some stuff going on. So they 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 come get you in the middle of the night while your spouse is gone. He drunk 
<laughs> um, and all that. So they trying to get her out. And then they have like, uh, and she got her kids with her. It was just kind of sad. I'm just in my head when I was reading, it was dark and it was just like a sad situation with these babies and these women. Hey, Lisa, and this woman, and she's being abused, but they getting her out of the situation. So do they talk about their, their mother at this point yet? Like um, how no, they got I think they talk, they don't talk about her at they this point. They ain't saying nothing about that yet. So they they free the woman, but they almost got caught by the husband trying to get her out the house. And they had to um can I just like 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 interrupt for a minute? Why is it when you got these abusive ass men, they have so much time? They have so much time on their hands to make your life fucking miserable. It's like they they got cameras. And so even when they leave for work, they watching the cameras. They hooked into your Wi-Fi. They got trackers on you. Like they don't never leave home. They they forever watching you. It's like you got, like if I got time today was a person, it's an abusive ass man. That's what they live for. That's what they oh live and breathe for. That's yeah. That's what they here for. It just, it, I mean, that just like. But I wanted them to beat everybody up. I'm like, why is y'all running? Y'all need to beat that nigga ass. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. then it switches over to Miss Jones. And she is having a flashback of the first time she met her boo. What was his name? Louis. He, Louis, he sounds like a Louis. But she, she had a flashback like when a she loose. met him. She is in the courtroom about she's, to get arrested. She's she's fighting a ticket. She's fighting a ticket. But she she was acting like, I don't know, this red like she's about to go to jail for the rest of the It felt like life. she was she was turn, she was turn, turning up on him, but but he was like he got her. Right. So she and she she ain't got no lawyer. She down on her look. She ain't got no help or nothing. And all of a sudden, she see this fine ass lawyer. Look like he looking like money, baby. He looked like money. He he just he walk beautiful. like money, talk like money. Lewis is the man. Look okay, like look like he could fuck. Right. Look, he look. He's the man. Okay, but baby, her worst nightmare. So she do this flashback of how she met Lewis and how he came over and he saved the day. He say, "I'm gonna help you out this situation." You ain't gotta pay me. <laughs> I'ma help you out this situation, and I got you. Okay, he what he got him, and she was like, "Oh me, you know." He he was like Captain Saber. He came in and swooped in with his cape while she was sitting there shaking in her boots, about to go to jail. And she, she came there, in, and, and he she saved. was and she was there for it. Right. He had oh, he was just fine. <clears throat> so she meet him, and did they? They wasn't knocking the boots. So in the beginning, first. in the beginning of the book, it's like she's having a flashback of how she, she had met a flashback her, when she her first boyfriend. Met him. So she 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 flashes back to the court and everything and how they first met and how they started get, getting together. But immediately she says that he gave her an STD. And so she Baby. <laughs> Lewis, Lewis went from sugar to shit in two pages. <laughs> it wasn't two. <laughs> You might <laughs> went from the fine black knight to the infestation um disease man <laughs> okay look okay well we i gotta remember to bring this point up when we move forward let me write it down so i don't forget so louis the gay this girl sex and transmitted disease this is fine hunker but you know what at the end of the book though it came out that he Oh God! I know. I did good. a little snippet on our on a page about that, about how that happened and why it still don't make Lewis right. Okay, so let's let's just go in and talk about what Lewis did. Go ahead, go ahead, go because, ahead. Because okay, so she she was like, he didn't burn me. This is I mean, and, and at this point, she's like, this is my man, my man, my man. Like we mm. are inseparable. I'm with him. If I'm not at his house, or because she goes to his house and all of that kind of stuff. So she it, she she starts having a little vaginal uh, secretions and and itching and odor and all that kind of stuff. Her ass is on fire. She just a hot pocket. That happens. She just a hot pocket. Heard. It know. happens. Sure. It happens. So she confronts him about burning her. Like he don't like her job. She's a stripper. Mm -hmm. 
And again, that's another one of the things. Of course, they all in school. And that's why they stripping, because they all dining. And so she confronts him. And this N-word, you know how sometimes you hear about somebody, he, I'm like, was he trying to kill her? He whooped her like she was a man. And wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. You jumped in the head because she had she in class. She talked to him about the STD. Then um he she was like, come to my job tonight. Come to my job tonight so we can talk about this in person. So then it ain't tonight yet. She in class. She in the psychology class. Next. So then she go to school before she go to the strip club. So she at school, and the reason why this is important is because her teacher is the professor. It's Dr. West. Her teacher is the professor. <laughs> the professor was giving like he had loose taste of autism, which is fine. But you know what? I think just, he might have been on the spectrum. He was giving real mysterious. He got he was kind of weird to me. And I guess she the wrote whole it that book, way. He was weird. And he was a little yeah, older. I, she probably wrote it that way on purpose. But the more you find out about the professor, you see why he is a little weird. I mean, weird is the wrong word. Forgive me if anybody like, but you see why he's going through what he's going through. Mm -hmm. Right. Because he had been through a lot. You right, he's a better, he, he was a better man as well. And then how they grew up with his mom and stuff. So he's got issues, him and his brothers. Right. Right. So she's in class. She's um she's a model student. She interacts with the teacher. Like he asks questions. He a nerd. So let's say he a nerd. Okay, we're gonna we gonna say that. Because nerdy people, they are kind of he not weird. He he eccentric. Girl, so at least girl. he wanted them. Well, look, eccentric is what we say for rich people. Right. Because when because when your ass is broke, ride riding a bike. <laughs> Right. Your check. No, they call that. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't call that essential. <laughs> right. So yes. Yeah, so she she in class. Um, she's very. Uh, she's a good student. The teacher is. You know, she's talking, and you know, he can ask her anything, and she talking back to him and stuff like that. So they have this type of rapport in class. It's very student teacher oriented, but. He, he has a to fondness her. to her because she is so vocal. Right? He's Would you say to that for Patrice? She's smart. And she is um attractive. Attractive. She attractive. So you think he but do you think he was sweet on her in the beginning? Um, I think he was I, I, you know, I think it was one of those things, kind of like when you when you got a work husband. Like I think he was a, attracted to her personality and how smart and driven she was. But I don't think he was at the point where he was ready to like. At, at no point at that time was he thinking, "I'm gonna get with her. I'm gonna try to see her." At that point, he wasn't. But I think he was attracted to her light. So Celeste so said she peeped. He was fine. So you think she was she was checking for him? I think and he was an older man. That, I believe that she realized that he was fine and he was an older man and she does have a thing for older men. Uh-huh. I think that right. she did see that. Okay. So she got this fine teacher that she interacts with with class. So now let's fast forward to this job because it's a long book. When she, okay. So when she gets to work, she hadn't told Lewis. She told Lewis she wanted to talk to him, but she didn't tell him why. Okay. He didn't tell him okay. why until he got there to talk to her. So she had to wait for him to dance, her to dance and stuff. Why do men, okay, why in these books, they meet a girl who strip, they fall in love with her at the strip club. And then, I mean, they you, you, when you met me, I was stripping, but now it's a problem and you want me to stop. Right. You know, I you, was you treat me, anyway, me like crap because that's what I do, but you met me here and you was loving me. And so she not only is she a stripper, she the baddest. She she, she like what what what's the girl name down in Mercedes? Where the oh, um, what naked. you call it? Yeah, she she the no, one. Mississippi. M I quickly, 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 quickly. She's the she's the one. So she's the bad like she's the baddest bitch at the strip club. And so he comes so they can talk. And so they go out to the parking lot. So they, they in these comments. They are missing these comments, Patrice. Oh, okay. So 
they say they going out to the car mm -hmm. so she so they could talk to security guard like you good and she was like yeah i'm good so she go out there and so she thinking she got this relationship where she could say you burnt me and whatever 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 it went all the way left now he had never hit her before this mm -mm. they had never had anything physical at all the only thing that they had adversity that they had at least i felt was that he didn't like her working at the strip club mm -hmm. he didn't like her working at the strip club other than that and of course, I'm sure there was other red flags, but she hadn't noticed any until this point. Mm -hmm. So she told him that you burnt me. And he said, bitch, what? And he instantly, when I tell you, he knocked her head between that steering wheel and that door. He I was like, I'm with you, Lisa. I was sad too, because not it's never okay, but she was so caught off guard. Yes. And he and her like so hurt man. by it because she was like, What are you doing? Like, how did we get her? How you know, and it she felt like, like he was trying for her to, life. It felt like he was trying to kill her because right. he because you know, it's certain times people get in a fight and okay, we got in a fight, but we're gonna we're gonna live to, to fight another day. But this dude was going at her like it was the, like he was stumping her, hitting her in her head, and just he beat her it was like bad. crazy. And it's like, it how had bad. she not? He went nuts out. They had been there, been together for a year and she hadn't seen this man. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember how he ended up stopping. Did somebody come or whatever? But mm -hmm. she was she was so messed up that she ended up having to take time off of work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and school. And so and she school. stopped going to school and Mr. Uh, the professor noticed it. Right. No, she had that test that day. And and, and she, she was late. And she came in with stuff on and he was just like, What's going on with you? And I and I want to say, did she ask him? She came in, she, did she miss she like, missed the time test? That she, missed she missed it, that test. And she came in all dis disabled and asked, could she reschedule it? And he was like, No. And then he seen that something was going on with her. He was like, Okay, but your grades are good enough to where as long as you do good for the rest of this class, you're going to be okay. Like, I can't tell you that. I can't let you take it over because I do have my rules. But at this point, his heart is softening for her a little bit because he sees that something's wrong. Right. And being in the line of work that he's in or his night job, because he a professor by day and then he a superhero by night. And Lisa said women. nobody helped her. Um and that it helped her in the parking lot. It was, um, she hit, and um, I'm just reading what the comments are saying. Celeste said that she hid from her friends. And you know what? That's what you do. It's like when they do, when a, when a man do you like this, when you're abused in this way, it isolates you from everybody who cares about you. And mm -hmm. it's not that the people don't care about you, but you hide it because number mm -hmm. one, you're embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And number two, you scared, um, mm -hmm. you conflicted because it, it, it seems like when that happens to you, when a man beats you up like that, that you're mm -hmm. that you, like, it's you're supposed to be, fuck, fuck him, I don't mess, you know, all of that, we done or whatever. And you do have that, but you have to keep in mind, this girl was in love with him. Like up until- But she didn't moment. want him no more after no, no, that. She bitch. didn't want him no more, but I'm just uh. saying she was dealing with so many different feelings. Like, how could he even do this to me? And then instantly mm -hmm. from there- she was afraid of him. And then he come, he, he started trying to call her because he wanted to talk. She was like, nigga, no. Now that's the crazy part. Now that, yeah. that's it. He was crazy that night. He it's like, but she should have called the police on his ass. Oh, but he was a lawyer and she knew he was a good and lawyer and he, he was going to get, get off. Right, right, and right. And so right. this is how she ends up kind of meeting the professor because he sees her out. She's in the mall. And I want to say Lewis saw her and he can recognize when abuse is happening and he could tell. So wait a minute, this scared. was before the um strip club? This is before, I think this was before the strip club. Okay. Because I, I, I feel like, it, so he felt a, I think he felt like a connection to her a little bit. He kind of rescued her, but then again, he's just like, she did. She said she was fine, all of that. So he saw her. He was thinking about his mom her. and stuff and the women that he'd be helping. Yes. Mm -hmm. But go ahead and, and, and move forward to okay. 
the so you got the professor. The, the professor helps abuse women, right? We haven't gotten into why yet. Um, he is a professor. He is Miss Jones professor. What's her real name? Because all I keep thinking about her is Miss Jones. Isis. Isis. So Isis is a young girl. She in her twenties. She was dating this older lawyer who then gave her STD, and now he didn't beat her up. The um, professor, he's helping these women at night and dealing with his own issues and all that. He has two brothers, too. So he got Lionel and he got, what's the other brother's name? And that's the thing. I, I got Lionel, but I could not find the other two. And I like the older brother's name, the brother who lived out of town. And you know what I found so sexy about them is they're all doctors. Um, they were smart, baby. They were they smart, all honey. They were smart. So the, the, they're the two main characters. So you got little bitch ass uh Louis Louis and then um the brothers and then you got Hassan. the best one of, friend. one of the brothers is uh Andrea said uh Hassan is one of the brothers Hassan it's only three of them ain't it ain't folks it's, it's only it's, three it's um Dr. Wayne, RJ which is Hassan, RJ and Lionel and Lionel okay yeah yeah it's just three brothers so okay. um so those are like the main characters then she had her friends but they wasn't really like yeah, they, it, they, but you know what a little bit did happen until the end there's there's a there's little um i feel like like when you read this book it goes down a hall and then it does this and it veers this way so then you got the mm -hmm. issue that happened with one one of the friends got beat up really bad and then mm -hmm. she met a guy at the hospital then you got they go down the hallway to one of the friends started messing around with a guy and they you know they all got jumped on and then she was trying to kick it with him and he had a baby mama who didn't want to let him go. And then they trying to get cussed. It was just like a lot of little mm -hmm. twists and turns. So boom. So you got them two. That's okay. But the professor, professor like 10 years older than her. I think so. Yeah. I loved her daddy too. So the professor like that's 10 years older. That's another avenue when her daddy comes into the picture. Mm -hmm. So um, Lionel beat her. I mean, Lewis beat her up. She um had to take off work. She had to stop being in class. But before she missed them a few days of class, she had came to class to try to take her test, but she was all beat up and she was late for the test. And he didn't play that. He was like, I don't let Jennifer people Reddy in late for my test. And even though you look like you just got mauled by a cat, I still can't let you in, which I thought was like so messed up. <laughs> but okay, so he wouldn't let her in. So then she then took off from um school and she then took off from work. So fast forward to their first encounter where their relationship kind of flip flop. So, so, so the brother is trying to convince Lionel is trying to convince him, hey, you need to ease up. You intense. Because when they going out rescuing these women, Dr. West is kind of tripping out on some of them and doing stuff that could expose them. He was like, you need mm -hmm. to relax. You need to get out. He really don't want to. But the thing is, he going to come to the club, come to find out. Their godfather is the owner of the club, the brothers. Right, He's the, the owner of the off. club. So when they come, he going to set it out for them. So he he know that they're going to come in there. They're going to spend a bunch of money because they they rich. They they got old money. These brothers that are doctors, they all got old money. Their daddy was rich. Their daddy's family was rich. Their mother's family was rich. So they got money. So when they come to the strip club, they do come to play. Mm -hmm. And they don't have no money like Usher did with his name on. No, they got the real money. And so they come in there with money to spend. And so their uncle has already set it up so it could be a special show. And the star is going to be ISIS. Like they're going to see the other girls dance and them, them girls going to blow their mind. But mm -hmm. then ISIS is going to come in and she's going to do her thing. Mm -hmm. And so ISIS, it, when it's playing, they, they come and they do their dance and all that. And they was like, these girls is right. Like they all of them, they, they, you know, but Dr. West, he's still chilling the cut, like, you know, this, but this is nice. These girls like, you know, so then this, the, 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 um, the beat drop, I feel like it's like, it's Beyonce partition. Right. So she <laughs> come over there, right. And she dance on him. But first she look and she see him and then she she's thrown off. But then, and he sees her, but then she say, you know what? I'm here. I'm glad she ain't weird out like you read in other books. She was like, I'm here and I'm gonna go on and do this. Wasn't and she, she supposed to be in there with them? Wasn't that like her to, section? 
Yeah, that that was supposed to be. She was supposed to be the the like the last part of it. She was supposed to be the mm -hmm. showstopper. And so mm -hmm. when she saw him, she froze. And as they say, you know, other people would notice it, but he noticed it. And then she shook it off. She was like, "No, I'm gonna do my thing." And she went over there. And when I tell you, I thought they had intercourse, baby. The way she wrote this. And I then, was there in the club. I was watching it, baby, because she was so sensual and she was on that professor, baby. And she, she sat on out. him. She took off her bra and brought his hands around to her and he was holding on. Girl. He was like, at, from that point, no dollars and no cents. She had him. She had him. She had him. He, he was like, I, I, I got, I got to have her. I got mm -hmm. to have her from that point. And she, she rolled his face. She rolled him. I mean, and she could feel his length, of course, because he was very much aroused. And they had a good time. And his brother was looking like, okay, yep, like you, you supposed to be over there so tough. She got you. <laughs> she got you stuck, bro. But don't nobody know that this is his student. And keep don't nobody know this is his student. And y'all know like how they go. 21, 22, and he's like in his 30s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it was uh he he lost his mind a little bit. He he at that point, I think if you could pimp like when they say if you could pinpoint the moment that you fell in love, it was then for him. That was then. Baby, that anybody was. fall in love with that baby, if you come riding on this. <laughs> <laughs> everybody be look, a little bit strip club but you know what see i can't do that because i'm like you know what we got the fuck now <laughs> i'm like y'all look y'all need to what they say there's no there's no sex in the champagne room i'm like y'all better pull them curtains because i'm about to break this <laughs> what i say now you know how to say now i gotta cut you i'm like now right? I gotta, now i gotta fuck you <laughs> <laughs> they were very into Best, Listen, but if you read this book, baby, I was sweating and stuff. Shoot, I'm sweating now. My story's pretty look, I'm like, look, girl, you about to get this dick. <laughs> That's what I know. Amen. So, boom. So, he feeling her, but she is his student. And he is the professor. So, he like, I got to keep my lint. So, fast forward to when she just seen Lewis at the mall with his wife and his son. <laughs> so, she at the mall with her friends. She see Lewis and a little baby and a woman. And the baby son... look just like him. Look just like him. Now, she been messing with Lewis for how long? A year. A year. Lewis be with her all the time. They have like a thick relationship. So she where did this baby house. and this woman come from? She been and up in this house. Right? But my thing was, when I was reading, I don't give a fuck. After you done beat my ass, crap, you got a wife, six kids, three grandkids, a you, dog. Look, you, <laughs> that wife and your ugly ass son can go. <laughs> fuck all of you. Like, I'm like, why does she care? So but she I gets say, upset. Now she get upset enough to where she didn't went to this man's house. Shaquana, that's why I said earlier when all of this went on, she was dealing with a lot of different feelings. She loved him, even though he beat her up. She was dealing with the feelings of. But look at the way she acted at this mall. Evidently, she was dealing with something. You don't turn me up like he tore her up, and now I want to fight it, over you. No, I have this, no this not happening. This Maybe you fool, gone. This fool goes to his house with her friends and why would y'all let her go okay you know what i got some true friends that i know is in this chat i'm telling y'all shaquana don't let me do no mm. stupid shit like that <laughs> listen don't, don't look you know how you got the friend it's like you know what even if you wrong you know i'm going with you don't let me do that so let's say she was young and she wanted answers what answers you beat me up. You blacked my eye. I was fighting for my life. No, I don't you need no You knocked my answer. head between a window and a steering wheel. I'm finna act like I don't know you, baby. I don't, I don't need no answers. <laughs> when you look this way, I'm going the other way. I don't want so this, no answers. So, so this is part one. She goes and confronts them. And the, mm -hmm. and the wife looks, she's like, Louis, how about who this here woman? <laughs> 
Louis, who is this? Is this true? He tell her, go. She was like, but this is go now. And she looked, she didn't want to, but she left. And he grabbed his son and they he he just looked at, at Isis one more time and he left. And I'm like, girl, you are still healing. You still okay. got bruising. You okay, and now you want to go over here and fight? Why so she didn't went to his house, her. knocked on his door. Was the wife there? Yes, the wife is the one who answered the door. The wife is the one who answered the door. And so like they conversate and Lewis ends up coming to the door um, a little bit after her, but the wife and them, they converse because she's telling her like, I know your bedroom is up there to the right. And this is this way. Your kitchen is this. I like, I'd have been here before. Mm -hmm. I'm at this house all the time. So then she saw busting windows out of the court and they didn't call the police on her ass. <laughs> so you didn't got an STD. You got your ass beat. Now you about to go to jail. Baby Lewis ain't worth it. Only thing I can Baby say Lewis. is that she like 21 or 22. And when you that age, you stupid as shit. That's the only, that's the only, and I'm not saying that that make it right. That's the only thing I can look at is she just young, but she she was still dealing with her feelings with him and love and all of that. Was Lewis tripping with her? Or was he trying to like calm her down? Because he was just an asshole throughout no, the whole Lewis, entire Lewis movie. didn't. He was calm. He called the police. But when they put her in the police car, he went in the police car. And I want to say he he went in and like grabbed her. You know how your parents would grab you when, when you did something wrong, but nobody would know that they were squeezing the heck out your arm. He did her like that. And and he said some stuff to her, but she she uh and then he I think he said something about want to get back with her, but she was like, no, f you. Then he said, yep, you going to jail. And then her friends got out, but he left her in there for a couple of days. Oh, so I think somebody in the chat did say this. So after that, that's when she went disheveled to class because she was in jail, and asked him could she um she she went to class. Y'all tell me, didn't she go to class? Um, mm -mm. Oh, Nikki, she was Nikki, toe up. She was Nikki, toe up when Nikki she is, went to that is, class because he was looking at her like, did something happen to you? You know what I'm saying? Y'all, the author is in the chat and she just said that he grabbed her by her ponytail. And that's who and she yes, and <laughs> gave her back. Nikki, thank you for joining us tonight. Thank yes, you. let us know. So why did you have this girl getting mad? Because I would have been running from Lewis and his wife and his son. Because, baby, I don't want no more problems with you. Because you tore me up like I was a nigga on the street. So, Why so you he have her out here fighting like that? And she missed her test because she was in jail for 48 hours. Girl, she was going through a lot. But, yes, this was a good book. Yes, thank you for writing <laughs> So, boom. So, now she done had to go to jail. She done missed her test. The professor is feeling bad for her. He's like, what's going on with her? So, he seen her at the strip club. Then she done missed her test. But he was like, this is not like her because she was so smart in class. He was like, this different. Yeah. She wanted to make her intelligent, but also make it believable that she was young and has a lot to learn. Okay, I guess that's the 40-year-old in me talking because I'm like, <laughs> I learned my lesson after he beat my ass. Okay, look, I lesson. can't wait for us to get to the part when they first are intimate, but go ahead. Okay, so you got Lewis, then you got the professor over here. So the professor is starting to talk about his mom at this point yeah. and reveal that um he started having flashbacks because he having dreams about when his mother was being abused by his father so that's one of the reasons why he and his brother is saving these women because oh my goodness so okay i don't feel Another like i knew in this book it was like that i, I thought crazy. his mom i thought his dad had beat his mom to death I but that's too. not what happened i thought his dad had beat his mom to death because he used to turn he used to really abuse their mother now that was the saddest part of the book to me like, because the mama just seemed so nice and sweet and she loved her kids. And it was just and like. And I never got why he hated her so much. Like why he, he didn't want to be away from her. And the thing was, her kids started trying to defend her. Because mm -hmm, she had the big old boys. 
Yeah, they because they were going into men and the oldest son ended up getting put out for trying to help his mother. But it was to the point where it, it's like she was, he was, and then they just, I'm sorry, they, um, Nikki, Michelle described her as like a, a petite woman, beautiful. And it he was like, power driven. He was powerful. He was the dad. He, he just, and, and sometimes I think, and it's just my opinion, when you have a woman so sweet, so it's almost like you want to beat it out of her. You know what I'm saying? You want to break her spirit. Tijuana, if you remember this woman, do you remember how they described her? First of all, I think she could sing. Mm -hmm. I think she was a singer and she didn't get to do that anymore. She was very beautiful. She was mm -hmm. petite and mm -hmm. she had a light about her and people, and mm -hmm. people beat That's her. That's what I'm saying. People would see her and just be attracted to her. And so, yeah, you're right. And she was talented. So he took all of that from her. And she mm -hmm. dressed well. She dressed very well because they were rich. Mm -hmm. Arthur Nikki said he saw her as a possession and he hated her father. Mm. Oh. Mm. Because okay. you find out in the end, the way that she did die and what he had to say afterwards was very disturbing. Like his plans were to slowly beat her to death. That's horrible. And it's, it's, boys, that's a sick, and so that's you a could sickness. imagine those boys, Shaquana, they had to watch that. And then, but but keep in mind this: all three of them is their daddy's son. Why you say that? All three of them is their daddy's son because they all got it in them. Not RJ or um Hassan because Hassan got on Lionel ass. Okay, so mm -hmm. man, we but but look at it. look at how bad Hassan ended up beating Lionel. Lionel jumped on the woman and he had done it a few times before. All of them had that anger in them. And that's why they were all like in therapy and trying to, mm. to temper that down. They was mm -hmm. trying to temper that down because a, a rage was in all of them. And if you remember the girlfriend that um, Dr. West broke up with, he told, she told, she, she said why she didn't want to be, be with him anymore, but she knew that it was a raging beast inside of him. Mm. Am I right? Mm. I, I felt like I wasn't scared of, um, I wasn't scared of the professor. So how did they hurt him and Mrs. Jones ends up getting together the first time? Okay, the first thing they did. Oh, he started now, going to that club. He started going to that club all the time. He started going to see After her. After she put him on him that one time, he started going to that club. Like, and it was, a slow, it, was a, it was a slow burn. But can I just please say this? Because this was the weirdest thing to me. I'm like, how did they do that? I know he wanted her and all of that kind of stuff. So the first time that they are, they are in his home and they're getting intimate and all of that, she wants to be honest with him before they go further. She mm -hmm. says that I was in a this relationship with him. He gave me a ver venereal disease. I'm all clean now, but you know, I just want to be clear about what happened. He was like, okay, do you know the next thing he did? <laughs> do you know the next thing he did? Shaquana. <laughs> Shaquana, do, do you know the next thing that he did? He put his mouth down there. <laughs> he ate her from the rooter to the toter. She came multiple times. That's not know. be in the book. No, that can't that's be in real life. She's be she reckless out here. When you <laughs> tell... Now, it's one thing I didn't know. But okay. when you tell me <laughs> I had a venereal disease, when you saw... Like, like no, no, we got a time frame. When you saw me, when you saw the bruising on my face, that was because he had burnt me and I had to go to the doctor because I had to clap <laughs> and I had to get treated. And the next thing... The, the next <laughs> progression from that is to, to eat me out. <laughs> Listen, he was ready to risk it all. <laughs> he literally was ready to risk it all what, for that what, cat, baby. With Issa like, Ray, they talk about, what you got going on down there? <laughs> they, say, they, they say, I go hard for that dick. <laughs> I, eat, I eat a burning coochie for that second. Like Baby, listen. Who's going for? 
he went in. He went to town. He went to pound town. Do you hear me? Anyway, oh my God. I was what do you mean? That young girl was up in that doggone strip club. He could he had been dreaming about that baby like a but look, But Nick, Nikki Michelle is in the chat. She said, he said, but he didn't go in raw, but he did eat it. I'm like, well, shit. He might might as well. He might as well. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway that cracked me up but that's just how much um passion and angst because it was a slow burn because he would go to the club and see her and stuff the like that. reason that it's a slow burn is because he is trying to reframe from taking his relationship there with her one because he's older significantly i guess you could say by 10 years or so or more and she's his student and he know that's against the policy of the college or the university or the college so he's trying not to that's why he just put his mouth on it because he was like i don't want to go too far with this relationship okay <laughs> if, if you eat me out i'm gonna just say this He's like, I'm just gonna put the tongue in, not the tip, we, but the tongue. We, we go together real <laughs> bad. <laughs> we go together well, now. Eat me out. As I tell you, I had a venereal disease. You about to get married. <laughs> <laughs> Could you say, meet me at the altar? <laughs> <laughs> you Okay, we about no, to get I'm, married. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. We're Let me stop. Married. Yes, we're all the way out the core. Okay, so boom. So he trying to reframe from messing with her, but he um he won her, you know, and eventually it do come to that, and he get her, but he know that she got some stuff with her, and he got some stuff with him, and he's an intense love. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Patrice, take it. I gotta um get this call real quick. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead, Patrice. Keep go. Keep it going. And so he is. Y'all know he is such a intense lover. And um, then you kind of learn a little bit that he's mildly. I feel like is mildly into BDSM, but I would say that this is the mildest BDSM that I have ever seen. But anyway, um, so they keep they keep progressing. And, um, you know, they're still in school and all this kind of stuff. And then so uh, they get to a point at the school where um, she's assigned to this project. And the project that he assigns her to is this this home um, that him and his brothers have founded for battered women. When I tell y'all, this book has so many um different avenues that you could go down like this book could have been easily like three different books um it's like when you deal with the relationship aspect of it when you deal with the um the different abuses that that go on the things that the brothers went through um with the <clears throat> with their mother the things that the brothers are going through with the business that they started well the um I don't want to call it a business, but what they started as far as rescuing uh, women from who are being abused, it's just so many um, different areas that it goes into. But <clears throat> anyway, so she gets assigned on a special, like a few of them get assigned to a special project and they're going to be working at this kind of like a group home or whatever for women that have been abused. And so with that, I feel like her and um dr west their relationship grows close well, excuse me grows closer and closer they become intimate they start having sex and it's just the most intimate um beautiful sex that you ever want to have and he has a very strong sex drive and he can just go forever because of course that's what they all do but while this is happening her mother is starting to call her and try to you know calling her but she's not telling her mother what's going on with her but when she's talking to her mother, she hears a man in the background and it's like her mother is being secretive, right? Her mother's being secretive and and telling her like, um, you know, it, she's asking like, who's there? Her mother was like, no, I don't, you know, it's nobody, it's none of your business. She rushes her, rushing her off the phone, but they haven't seen each other in a while. So one time they're talking and um, 
the mother says that, you know, I want to, uh, like something happened and she abruptly got off the phone. And so the daughter calls another one of her family members, because I think her mother is down south somewhere. She calls another family member and says, can you go check on my mom? Because I think something is going on. And they called her, they went and checked and they came back. They was like, she's doing fine. And they was like, well, who is that guy? They said, that's between you and your mom. You need to discuss that with her. And so she's dealing with like, okay, something is going on with my mom. I'm in school. I'm trying to, you know, stay the course, pass my classes because I'm close to graduating. But I got all of this stuff that is happening. Lewis is dang near stalking me. My mother is going through something. I'm in this new intense relationship with um with Dr. West. And so she's got all of these things going on. And we got to keep in mind, this girl is what? 21 years old and she's navigating all of this and then she's still working she's and she's a star at the strip club y'all come on <laughs> this girl got so much um she got she's 20 okay nikki said she's 23 she got so much going on so you know she's going to work at the same time so she's got three friends that she lives with and um and they're all really good friends, right? And so they're all, and they all really good friends. They all work at the club. And so there are some rival girls at the club that they're dealing with as well. Come to find out, one of Isis's friends is having sex with this girl Mercedes' boyfriend or her ex-boyfriend or whatever. And so this is an issue. And so along with everything else that she's going through, this starts to mount up, mount up, mount up. And they ended up having a fight at the club one night and it got really bad. And one of the girls, she happens to be the white friend or whatever, but she lives with them. They don't, that really doesn't stand out. Like they mentioned that she's white, but it doesn't really hold any weight. Um, <clears throat> but they ended up getting this really big fight and to the point where they had to go to the hospital and all of that. And it just... It was just another thing that ISIS has to go through. And so um, during this time, she runs into, and I might be off a little bit with it, but um, during this time, she ends up running into, um, I, I feel like Lewis's wife seeked her out. Um, and she, Lewis's wife seeked her out and she was like, you know, like, are you really like having an affair with my husband or whatever? And they sat down and they talked. At first she was alarmed by it a little bit, but this is the thing, y'all. When she saw that woman, when they sat down and talked, um, she started telling her things and she was like, you know what? She said, I don't want your husband. She's like, I'm, she said, I'm the one that's in hiding or whatever. I can't remember exactly how it was because he's, you know, he beat me down. He's jumping on me. I'm trying to get like, you need to keep your husband in check. He's the one that burnt me. He's the one that gave me a venereal disease. And the wife was like, what? And so instantly she was like, I got to go. And she hauled ass out of there. So you end up finding out that the wife has been having an affair all alone. So that's, if you, anybody seen the snippet that I put on, on the um, page, that was the thing that I was talking about. It's like, this man, this this man and this woman is together. She, he, he gives her a venereal disease, at least she thinks, but he in a million years don't even think about, he's married. He's married, got a whole wife, but never in a million years did he think that his wife burnt him. But his wife was cheating. That was no. RJ woman. You said that already. Yeah, no, I didn't say that yet. So come to find out, when I tell you what a tangle web we weave when we practice to deceive, that everything is all looped together. So the so Lewis, I mean not Lewis, Dr. West, the reason why he gave Lewis the look that he did, because he knew who Lewis was all the time and did not tell, he did not tell ISIS. So he knew who that was. And Lewis used to be his best friend. I know. Lewis was his best friend. And come to find out, Lewis used to date. 
I mean, Lewis's wife was originally Dr. West's woman and they were engaged. And then all along, she was fucking his best friend, which was Lewis. And so then she ended up leaving Dr. West and that messed him all the way up. So she, he, she left Dr. West and married his best friend. His best friend, Lewis, is screwing this young girl. And 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 they say he he and he liked the baddest bitches because she beautiful, both of them beautiful. He definitely got a type. So when she finds out that he birthed her, she mm -hmm. instantly knows. She instantly knows that it's her that did it. And that's why she leaves. So she so she's screwing somebody who's screwing somebody. So Lewis beat um miss jones up because he knew he didn't give her that disease because no i woman. guess he wasn't messing with nobody else but i'm it was not the saying it right it didn't it didn't make it right but he was looking like no so he was so all the time i'm like this dude is crazy because she ain't having sex with nobody else but in his mind he's not thinking about i'm having sex with my wife because he think his wife is pure is the pure even though she was cheating on um the professor so why you know what? And if you got her through cheating, why you don't? Why wouldn't you consider her? Right. He never questioned. So did you talk about the daddy yet? Because we only got ten minutes. So the girl, Miss Jones, ended up finding out her mama had told her that her daddy died. I don't know what was going on with that. That was kind of the sad. mama told her daddy died, but the daddy was really in jail. But you know what made me think about? You know, when I was younger, if somebody went to jail, we would say they went to college, <laughs> or they would tell us they went. To college. This mama then straight up said the dad that's is better dead. Than dead. Dad, he can't go to college. That's, be that's <laughs> better than dead. <laughs> that's what I was thinking. So this man, I guess they thought he wasn't going to never get out of jail, but then he got out of jail. Right? So then he got out of jail. So now she done found this long lost daddy. That was a whole miss. You just did. Too she much was, she was very hurt and I understood why. But the thing is, it's like she she finally found out. She was like, you know, this is your dad or whatever. But all of this time, like part of the reasons was, I'm not saying nothing is wrong with her, but part of her behaviors of liking these older men because she got involved with an older man in high school and it was an abusive oh, relationship. Man. Then she got involved man. with Lewis who ended... And then she got involved with the professor and all of these older men. And it's a, it was a trend for her. But mm. I, she was looking for a daddy. Mm. She was looking for a daddy. I and, ain't peeped And then come to find out her dad ended up beating somebody to death because he spit on her mother. This story got... Somebody just said we need a timeline. You are right. I I don't know who uh they said it's like a it's almost like you need a timeline for the story for the different things because there's so many different things that happen, but she weaves it together so well. But it just had me. I feel like I'm playing Batman. Like it's just but I love the daddy. He was a stand-up dude. He was he dude. made sure that he made amends with her and let her know that he loved her. And that he did what he did, even though he was hot headed, he did what he did for his wife and his child or whatever. And, and maybe he still he protected no his games, wife. But he uh wanted to meet with that professor and he said, You ain't got fucking for no grace. <laughs> you, ain't got, you ain't got a fucking for no grace. He was like, No, your daughter is very smart. <laughs> But he came he right. Like, you got my baby out here doing something strange for a piece of change. For a, for a, for a. But no, she was really smart, and he really, um, he really did love her. But the to see, I think it was very real. The what happened between the mom and the daughter because she was really upset. Like she wanted to get to know her father. But at the same time, she was mad at her mother and didn't want to talk yet. And I, it felt like that was just written so real because I could see like being like just being hurt and it's just like why would why would you do that and you watch me struggle you knew I needed this like why why death and then her dad had pictures of them and oh. she was able to see that and it's like and then so this is something that she was hurt about and I I don't like this either Everybody around me knew what was going on, but me. Don't do me like that. Mm -hmm. But her mother was doing, 
And that's the thing as parents, we really hold, we we act like our parents aren't human. Right. Her mother felt like she was doing the best thing for her child at that time. Because what happened was, did she take her to the jail and she was crying after the fact? So it was just he, like, he I said, just got to take said, don't, don't bring her back here. But but you know what? It, it was still, I understand what the mother did, but it still don't change the hurt that the daughter felt. Right, 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 right. But they did make amends. I was kind of mad at go, how she treated her Like the mom. father you go down the hill with something that's like a lie or deceit or whatever, it's hard to dig your way out of it. Mm -hmm. It's just like, I don't, we so far into it, I don't even know how to dig our way out of it. And so they rip the Band-Aid off and it just... Um, Aww. Thank you, Angela. She said it feels good to be on the podcast. I know, y'all. I know. <laughs> we we getting it back together. We getting it back together. Zoom tried to take us out last week, but we came back <laughs> better, <laughs> bigger and better. Um, but yeah, so what ends up happening, a lot happens in between the beginning and the end of the book. The brother Lionel he ends up, you know, having an altercation with this nurse that he messing with. He's the doctor, the surgeon. He messing with one of his people too. So everybody just screwing people with these jobs. These, he messing these with jobs, a couple people at the These hospital. jobs be a cesspool because you got the professor messing with his student. You got lying over here. But he ended up putting his hands on the woman that he was messing with. The woman was engaged. So she was cheating on her man with him, and but she wanted him. He ended up putting his hands on her and her son, the oldest brother, ended up beating his ass and then and so, he had and to that's go why i say he has some his anger granddaddy issues. he has some <laughs> anger <laughs> issues with him because he he beat his like they had to because they came i don't know what made dr west bring i'm I, not gonna listen. say it's right but i felt where hassan was coming from hassan was I, like yeah. my brother is not gonna be like my dad and i'm gonna beat the shit out you if but i feel like hassan went too, to maybe like went him. too far with it Mm -mm, I think Lionel needed that because not only that, they felt like he was on the path to self destruction. Yeah. Because, and that's why that granddaddy was like, You come to stay with me. And he tried and, to get tough with the granddaddy, but the granddaddy was like, Oh, good fuck. What you talking about? You coming up in here. And you could tell they got money because they told him, and you resigning for that, from that position at the hospital. I'm like, what? I'm not, look, I'm not, I ain't stopping selling Avon, let alone quitting my real job. I'm like, this, this is my money. You got to quit. I ain't stopping nothing. You can Wait, tell and the professor quit. got fired. All of them, they didn't care about losing them jobs at all. He got fired. He wanted that little young thing. They said, you been messing with one of your students? He said, he sure. Said, yep. Yeah, sure sure I'll put in my resignation today. Well, say, they was like, Are you having sex with her? And did. <laughs> and did. Listen, did y'all see y'all put that booty on me at that strip club? <laughs> she whipped that side. Oh, I showed it. Showed it. So a lot came out about the mother. The mother ended up committing suicide because she could not get away from the father who was abusing her. They did had a lot of little beautiful moments to um did you, memorialize did you her. When that daddy said that she didn't give me a chance to kill her. Like he was like he was going to kill her. So she her thing was I think she killed herself in his office so that he could find her and her son found her. And this joker moved away, left his kids, ain't seen them since. He moved away with another woman. Right. Got a whole nother family. But, oh, mama. I mean, but it's just the way this world is just really sick. You know, because she couldn't get out of it because, I don't know, she was a flu. They were affluent or, you know, whatever the case may be. It was just a mess. It was just messed up. And I felt really bad for them and their mother because she showed them so much love she was so loving towards them so they really took a loss and you can you see know. all of the stuff that they started because of her but they called it well it was something about the flower deliveries that's how they knew like they had to go to the flower shop or something like that that was creative mm -hmm. but it was that and i'm sure y'all that we missed some stuff but it's hard it's to a lot a baby book this book baby we would have like took this. us three years to get through this <laughs> <laughs> oh, thing if we would have really tried to break it down good for y'all but y'all got the y'all got the good stuff y'all got the good stuff y'all at the strip club y'all know that the doctor went down on her even though she told him she had it 
Yeah, I know that. Um, but yes, they ended up being together, but they didn't, they wasn't like, did they, they didn't get married or nothing, did they? I don't I felt like she wrote it in a way at the end. Oh, and then them girls, that girl had got beat up at that strip club, and then the boy, that was a lot. With um, um, Lisa just brought to the point about the mother's last time with her sons. Remember she took them to the park and they was all together. She knew that she was going to kill herself. And, and that was basically, with them babies. Oh and I want to say God. she sang with them and stuff like that. She knew that she was leaving. And I think that they were to the point. And so uh, the young Dr. West is the one who ended up jumping on his daddy. He said he started taking fight. His mother got him fighting lessons behind his dad's back. And he and he said, um, I knew it would be you. I knew it. I knew it would be you that would come for me. And, and he should have. And he needed way more than that. But they but said that he did. He did. Um, they end up getting married. Dr. West, he was like, I'm, I'm keeping this young booty. I'm he got him a young thing. Um, <laughs> but yes, them girls got into the fight at the strip club. The one girl was in a coma or something. The little white girl got beat up real bad. It was just a whole mess. That strip club action, baby, it be a lot going on at the strip club. Every time I read about a strip club, it means some drama. <laughs> it be some drama in that damn locker room. But you did an amazing job with this book, Miss Nikki, Arthur Nikki, Michelle. And we're gonna have to have you on. Um, like have you come on and talk with us. We gotta get an author on her. We ain't got no author on her in a while. We're gonna have to get us an author on her soon. Um, but yes, the book was really good. If you haven't read it, read it. It's a slow burn, but it was a lot going on. It wasn't it wasn't burning too slow because it was a lot going on. <laughs> lot going on throughout the book um but yes yeah, so if you like the older man younger woman she was a stripper but then she had she quit the strip club she got off the yeah. strip club so she did a final dance and they had to bring in security for it <laughs> that's what i'm saying yeah. she, it was literally like um like like p valley remember when mercedes mm -hmm. did her final dance girl yeah, so. p valley gave me a new respect for strippers because Patrice, we ain't got no books for next book Girl, um, you, you I want to be a stripper so bad at the P Valley, but my arm muscles ain't strong enough. For but when, look, when you heard them, when they showed them doing this, they stuff without the music, and you heard them, like when you saw them using their muscle, muscles to get up the pole. That's they, what I'm saying. Whoa. I'm like, whoa. Then they Mercedes get up had, um, now wasn't Mercedes the main girl before she um had messed up? Um, uh, baby, when she did that strip tease with that husband and that wife, I'm like, let me find <laughs> out me a strip club, a strip place. <laughs> Let me find me one. That's what I'm gonna do when I retire, y'all. <laughs> Shaquana, you wanna um you wanna do takedown by um uh, do we wanna do takedown? Have y'all read takedown too. by Nicole Jackson? It's two Yes, we can do takedown. That, that was that's a short book. It's two up. It's two of them, but you know, we we have to knock them both out in one night. We, we, we do both of them in one night. They were short. They was only like 200 pages. Hush books be short, baby, but they be juicy. Take so we'll, we'll, we'll talk about that. We're going to start May Nicole off. Nicole Jackson, May. She, look, she can write some toxic, taboo, good sex. No, her, se her sex be good, though. Her sex be good. Her sex be good. Especially in Take Takedown, it was real good because he had, um she had to pay off that debt. Okay, yeah, we'll do take down yeah. next week. That's an easy one. And then after yeah, that, easy. then we want to start sliding into indie authors, like people who are going to be at Indie Love, because Shaquana and I will be there. Um, and yeah, we want to make sure that we spotlight uh, the people that are going to be there. So we're going to try to get in uh, probably at least four or five books from there. But that's at the end of June, right? Is it at the end of the gym? But we still look, we still got to squeeze them in because we can't. I don't want to do them back to back. I want to pepper them in. Okay. Because okay. they already we'll starting pepper. their pre sales. So we can pepper. That's fine. She's okay. So y'all let us know if y'all read anything that's good that we need to talk about. Put us some, yes. some books in the chat. Help us out with some books. Yes. Been, let us I've know if we need to read. But we're going to read Take Now. I'm going to try to do an invite for y'all for that one and all that. And Patrice, she be do good about putting it in there. But yeah, read Take Down. It's short. It's good, though, y'all. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do gonna a couple snippets this about. week on it because I already, uh, yeah, that book is something. I, I'm, I'm rereading it right now. Okay. So 
we'll talk to y'all next week. And thank you guys for joining us. The chat was hot tonight, y'all. It was it's hot. The Black thank Girl you to Book Arthur Club Nikki Podcast. for joining us. The Black Girl Book Club Podcast. Hey, good night. All right, y'all. Bye.